I got a pack of these four piece mixing spoons from the Dollar Tree and I grabbed three packs of them. And I'm going to start by just separating the three packs into the different sizes. And I have a napkin here that I'm going to be using to decoupage, so I want to remove the back layers. And then I'm just going to cut the napkin into six small little rectangles so that it just covers the top of the spoon. And now you can pick any design napkin of your choice. And I covered six of the spoons with the buffalo plaid napkin and then I just have a plain orange napkin that I repeated the same thing with. And now I have six mixing spoons with the buffalo plaid design and then six mixing spoons with just the orange napkin. And now I'm going to take the mixing spoon and on the inside top part of the spoon I'm going to apply some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear and then I'm going to lay my napkin on it while it's still wet. And I want to take a piece of saran wrap to just rub on top. This helps adhere the napkin without any bubbling or wrinkling. And then you're going to apply the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear on top of that again. And I repeated those steps through all 12 spoons. Now if you do not have the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear, you can always use the Wise Owl Varnish or you can also use Mod Podge. And since it's such a small space, I'm just using my finger to rub on top of the saran wrap. If I had a larger area to work with, I would use my brayer. And then I'm going to allow all of that to fully dry. Once it was dry, I took a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just sanding all the extra napkin off. Now the one hour enamel clear is nice and durable. You rarely get any ripping of the napkin and you're just going around the edge of the spoon and it will tear the extra napkin off and give you a nice clean cut edge. Next I got this sign from the Dollar Tree around Easter time and I like grabbing these just for an inexpensive platform to work on. I'm going to remove the fresh carrot part and turn it to the back side. And using my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain and a paper towel, I'm just going to apply the gel stain to the board here. Now this is like a thick cardboard. And once the gel stain is on, I just take an extra piece of paper towel and just remove any excess gel stain. Now I'm going to go back to my mixing spoons. I'm going to take one with the short handle and put it in the center. And that's going to sit up the highest. And then I'm going to go around that spoon and lay all the other mixing spoons. And I'm basically just going every other with the pattern and making the spoon sit lower as I go go down the side. And once you have your pattern set and everything placed where you want, you want to make sure that the handle of the mixing spoon is nice and flat and that none of them are crossing over each other. I'm going to take my center spoon and add some hot glue to the handle and I'm going to place that on the back side of the board. Now I decided to go back to the two larger spoons with the orange napkin and I wanted to extend the napkin down the handle just a little bit. So I just repeated the same step as when I place the napkin on the inside top part of the spoon. And then you want that to fully dry. I'm going to take some hot glue and add the hot glue to all the handles of the mixing spoons once I have them laid down in the position that I want. And then I'm going to take my board and just lay that on top and press down nicely so that all the mixing spoon handles attach to the back side of my board. I have this triangle I'm just going to cut a little smaller and I'm painting that using some Wise Owl Goldenrod. And I'm going to use some hot glue to attach that to the circle so that it hides 
the opening here. And I have these pearl rounded stickers that I got right from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take two of them and place them on the board I'm adhering them with some of the hot glue. And I'm just creating my own little turkey face. I added some black paint for the eyes on the pearls. And then I have this zigzag orange ribbon that I'm going to use for the, what I believe is called the snood on the turkey. And I'm painting that with some Wise Owl Republic Red. And then I'm just going to glue that to the top right corner. And this is what we have so far. I'm going to flip it over on the back side and using my handheld heavy duty stapler, I'm just going to staple down a piece of jute so that I have a nice hanger for it that's nice and durable. Now, this is thin so the staples went through the other side, but I'm going to adhere this wood planter that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was unfinished and I painted it using some Wise Owl Goldenrod. And I'm just going to glue that down on the front side of the board. And then I have the saying, give thanks, that I painted with some Wise Owl chocolate. And I'm going to then adhere that to the front of the wood planter. You can also just use some wood letters so that it sits flat up against the wood planter. And then I'm just going to fill that with some artificial greenery. And there we go. Now we just have this cute turkey wall decor or front door sign that says give thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.